Happy Wednesday, Dolphins. I'm Lucy. And I'm Juliet. And this is the WNTE News. Today's date is Wednesday, March 1st. And today is school number 112. Did you know that the Shutters Candy Store in New Hampshire has a 112-foot count candy counter? Wow, that must be so long. How interesting. Now it's time for our Nerf Copsal birthdays. There are three birthdays today. Happy birthday to Brayden McLean in Miss Hughes' class, Mason Kelly in Miss Pridgen's class, and Emma Padgett in Miss Hale's class. Happy birthday, everyone. It's time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by our swim pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge, I pledge to be safe, well prepared, in control, and to make respectful choices. You may be, you may be seated. And in school news, it's time for our class of the day. Check this out. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mrs. Ferguson. I teach fourth grade. I wanted to highlight one of my students who is incredibly creative and artistic. I learned about his magic talent a couple weeks ago, and we wanted to highlight him on the news. His name is Carson Bartlett. Okay, but now I want to be showing you guys a cool trick that I found from a professional. Um, it is an illusion trick as well. Um, so, here we go. Normal deck of red cards. Let me just show you. Take these cards out. And as you can see here, these cards are all normal, like no trick cards. Nothing in between them. Nothing's wrong. But what I'm going to be showing you guys is a few reasons why you should never play cards with a the magician. There are a lot of reasons, but I'm giving you the most specific reasons. Flip this deck. And I'll do this. Let's Pharaoh shuffle these in. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be shuffling it three times, and every three times it should be an ace. So, one, two, and three. It indeed is an ace. So, what I do is, not that, flip the ace over, put it down, and do you guys know how many aces there might be in a deck? Well, there are actually four in every deck. And there are four cards each in every deck. So, one, two, three. It's an ace. So, what we do is flip the ace. Not like that. <laughs> flip the ace. There. Now we have, so, so we have two more. Two down, two more to go. So, one, two, three another ace so we flip not the other ace but flip this ace put the ace down and now we have three more three down one more to go one two and three wait that's a seven you know some magicians could change a guard it'd be really cool if i could change this into an ace right but I can't do that. But what I can do is this. Now all of these aces are now sevens. Somewhere in this deck are the four sevens, or the four aces, which they were sevens because I swapped them out magically. And rule number three, why you should never play cards with the magician, is for this reason exactly. And I just dropped a card. Put these down there. Here, put the stacks together. Rule number three, why you should never play cards with a magician is because they can cheat. They can change a whole deck of cards in one second just like that. So, so you like see all this color, you see all this detail, but now this whole deck of cards are now blue. How did you do that trick? Well, it was a lot of technique, a lot of practice. Um, there's actually some things where I had to do this in it, and I had to shuffle and get some cards like that. And I would have to pinky hold and shuffle it to the top. It was a lot. So that was actually, like, my best trick. But there you have it. Hooray for Carson, the magician! It's time for our joke of the day, which comes to us on National Pig Day.
Why are pigs awful basketball players? I don't know. Why are pigs such awful basketball players? Because they always hog the ball. <laughs> ha ha, I get it. Hog. Happy Read Across America. Day three, dolphins. Green eggs and ham, green eggs and ham. You're looking great, Sam I am. Then tomorrow we were green, and not just for the environment. Then Sam I says, would you like them here or there? The dolphins say we like saying green everywhere. It's Sue's trivia time again, brought to you by Mrs. McFadden. Yesterday's questions were, what was the first title of the Dr. Seuss book published? The answer is, and to think that I saw on Mulberry Street. How many publishers rejected the book before one said yes to publishing the title? The answer is that 27 publishers rejected the book. And what publisher said yes? The answer is Vanguard Press published his first book in 1937. And today's trivia question is... In 1957, Dr. Seuss's publisher challenged him to write a children's book using only 225 words that first graders could read. What is that book's title? Tune in tomorrow for the answer. And finally, we leave you with this. You can walk through your problems, dolphins. Well, that's a wrap. I'm Lucy. And I'm Juliet. And let's swim to success. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Bye, dolphins. Bye.